Uh, my name is James Messiah and I run a project called the A and the E. Uh, A and E stands for many things, um, but, but tonight it stands for art and ethics. Um, now when I was first approached by the Courtauld uh, to provide some poetic inspiration for people this evening, um, it was on the grounds that a lot of the work in the gallery was written by men and by white men uh, many, many years ago. Uh, and in London, the art scene has changed quite a bit since then. Um, but rather than coming at it from a sort of a, a moral standpoint, as if to say that that was wrong or bad in some way, I'm all want to reflect on the way in which cultural values shift and change over time. So things that were once deemed uh, evil or immoral uh, see, are seen later on to be completely fine, completely moral and so forth. Um, and in reverse, the same is true. So I um, and my friends, Ella Rima, and Sean Mahoney, oh, that's Ella, that's Sean. We've written some pieces. Um, responding to some of the works you'll see around you, and pieces that are more generally about transitions uh, within one's own thoughts, feelings towards moral principles, ethics and such. I've got one here, I have two here, um, and the one that's here is responding to this Manet behind you. Um, I, I guess this first one is, is sort of a... I recently bought this book, uh, Light, Verse and Songs by W. H. Gordon, and it's just this like little rhymes that he says to himself, I suppose. And this is one of those that I kind of say to myself, um, in, the, in the line of morals, ethics, ETC, blah, blah, blah. Uh, all right. I know that everything I see is just the way it's meant to be. And if it ever changes state, then nature sought to seal its fate. Nothing's right and nothing's wrong, and everything's where it belongs. Though if I seek to change a thing, it's up to me because I'm the king. It's up to me because I'm the queen, and baby girl knows what I mean. I'm the cut, so put it there and let me watch it from my chair. My enemies, they stop and stare. They think there's some unnatural dance. They tell me how I should behave to help the human race advance. But their advance is my decline and all these values in the mind. Nature does whatever it will and blows the wind that values kill. Thank you. Thank you very much. The, uh, the, the use of the word cuck in a... Uh, sorry. <laughs> the use of, of the word cuck uh, in that poem is like a, a pleasant, or maybe not pleasant, depends on your, your own taste. But it's a, it's a useful segue into the, the themes, I guess, of the rest of the pieces. Uh, so we're looking at uh, gender, I suppose, on account of the fact that we're looking at a female subject um, being painted by a man. And if you look in the top right, you can see a sort of leering gentleman who we're going to assume is a client in what appears to be a whorehouse. Um, and so these next pieces sort of uh, turn it on its head. It looks at myself not so much as a dominant male, but rather as a, a cuck. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what that is, that's a couple, that's a man who's happy to uh, give away the, the, the duties of, of supposed manhood to, to another man. Um, this, this one's in the head, the next one's on the phone. This one is called The Mothership, and it's one that's kind of part of my, my regular set, um, and I hope you appreciate it. Many nights and many days were spent engaged in devious ways. Our demon child, your angel face, my cheeky smile you led the chase. In search for more, we ran and ran from pimp and whore to wife and man, to son and daughter, mum and dad, to love a lady, love a lad, from heterosex to homosex, to where our passion sent us next, in search of more, we're saying less, and feeling more, and feeling stressed. The hunger for the finer things, the sweeter life, the shiny rings around the planets, out in space, and on our fingers, in your face. You watch them bling, the stars they sing, as time is passing, watch them cling to one another, how they fare when money's cut like dying hair. The dying flair that once they had, the love they shared, the passions mad, were lost in rock star dream success, the many lovers, many chests, and female backs are to them turned. They lost the dream and now they search for what it was they once possessed. Young lovers search for happiness. Like Julia, down on airstrip one, come to the lot for lots of fun, to the antique shop with Bibles gold and ancient insects in the folds. It will be our place to hide in bed from those who wished our love was dead. We'll hide away our love and will to keep our demons searching still. Our sisterhood, our otherness, the mothership, 
the funkiness, the mothership, the transient world, the white cell, the blackest part. Thank you. Thank you very much. Woo! A bit of uh, backstory, I suppose. Uh, there was a cheeky reference to 1984 in that poem. I don't know if anyone caught it, but it's that bit where uh, he meets Julia and tells her to come to the, the little safe house. Uh, they go to the loft and they get, get freaky. Yeah, you know? Oh, maybe you don't. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, this, this one is um, actually one that I've kind of played with before, but kind of re. Uh, refigured it for this painting and for this, this performance. Dominate me, sodomize me, slap me on the cheek, look me in the eye and tell me that you love someone else. You're good for my health, good for my mind, good for my body, bad to my mates, good for my brain. You drive me sane, you crack the cane. You make me want to take your name and change my own, be owned by you. Imagine that were true. You loosen up the noose and they will say I should hang with you, but I slide my neck through. You make it tight, your mini skirt. I say it's better, they say it's worse. They say I'm cursed, they think I'm mad. But I just like to meet your dad. He'll tell me what was done to you to make you feel so comfortable. He'll make me feel much more secure and less awkward in the nude. Sometimes I wish that I was rude and not quite such a prude. I wish I could get hard for you and chop you in the night. But it's okay, you'll be all right. Tell the girlfriends I don't mind. I'm cool with being half a man, my mother's son, my father's plan. Jesus Christ, Jehovah's plan, that second coming never came. I'm on the cross, but not ashamed. I'm dying proud and not in vain. Your spear in me, shellac your nails, cut me fast and let me bleed. Don't let me breathe, just let me be, and let me breathe a fantasy. Don't pamper me, you'll hamper me. Treat me like a trampoline. Do me worse, you understand? That's how you make a better man. Thank you.